15 Rules for Life. These are some of my rules for life, but please remember, what you think you know now will change. Embrace this always. Number one, death. The only certain thing in your life is death, but death is not the enemy, so do not view it as such. Instead, see death as a teacher who wants to show you that worrying about things that are inevitable only keeps you from living beautifully today. If dying is the only predetermined part of life, then this notion can either empower you to live or paralyze you with fear. Number two, expectation. Do not spend time romanticizing future false ideas of what you think you're going to get out of life without first considering what you have already been given. Instead, devote your efforts to nurture and take care of that which is already in your possession and watch life bloom all around you. Number three, happiness. Observed and perceived happiness are oftentimes misleading and can cause bitter enviousness. What makes you happy today is merely relative to what might make you happier or more sad tomorrow, disqualifying the notion that happiness can be objectively defined, making the idea altogether an untrustworthy feeling that you should not attach yourself to. Instead, learn to enjoy the brilliant mystery of life's ebbs and flows, valleys and peaks, wherever you might find yourself. Number four. Imagination. You're never too old to daydream, so go and get lost in a novel or a good book. Use your imagination because this is your hardwired ability to refresh your brain and think more clearly. Imagination is the REM sleep of the day. It strengthens your ability to create and problem solve. If you mute a person's ability to imagine, it becomes consequently more challenging for this person to create the life they wish to have. In turn, they're much more likely to follow blindly with no direction while someone else determines outcomes in their life. Don't become this person. Number five, purpose. Instead of living with a nagging and audacious feeling that you have to change the world before you die, focus your attention on more affectionately loving those closest around you. This will bring you far greater fulfillment than any unquantifiable number of persons you think you might change and to what unknown end that would come to fruition. Delusions of grandeur is one of the most effective ways to forget about the people you love. Number six, perspective. How you choose to interpret life's moments is how they will be remembered. Perspective is a tool that allows you to find growth from failure and humility in success. Having said that, most things in life should not be taken so seriously, and people who do are simply fighting the urge to embrace the unknown mystery of our existence. By letting go of needing to know all of life's answers, you greatly increase your capacity to enjoy it. Number seven, passion. The easiest way to define a passion is by examining the things in your life that require zero effort in order for you to begin. What are the habits or hobbies that you simply wake up and want to do today? It is defining and living out these passions that will bring you incredible motivation for life. Number eight, kindness. As you grow older, commit to only becoming kinder, quicker to listen, and more understanding of what a person might be enduring. A person's pain when feeling attacked defends itself by projecting pain on someone else with the hope that they can solicit empathy for their internal turmoil, but are too afraid to discuss directly. Disarm this person by showing kindness and warmth. Number nine, belief. Do not claim to know with 100% certainty the existential reason for life and never trust anyone who does. People who claim to know such things can and likely will manipulate you. If you can persuade a person of their soul's eternal resting place, you can quite literally get them to do anything here on earth. View life like this instead. It's okay to not know life's full meaning. And in fact, that's the innate design of it. What fun is found in knowing all of the answers? And if we did know them, what then are we left with? Your belief should be a simple resolve. I claim to know with 100% certainty that I do not know. Number 10, acceptance. Just because you perceive a person as different due to the fact that you feel it intrudes on your selfish and naive definition of normal gives you no right whatsoever to attempt to change another person's appearance, sexuality, or behavior. What works for you may not work for someone else, and that's okay. This is what makes us uniquely individual. A person who cannot accept another for who they are ultimately has not yet accepted themselves. Number 11. 
consume. What you consume, you will inevitably become. So partake in those things that provide long-term beneficial sustenance. What are you eating? What are you drinking? What are you watching? What are you listening to? Who are you spending time with? All of these inputs are slowly molding and defining you as a person, whether you realize it or not. Each and every cell in your body at the molecular level reacts and regenerates based on all that you consume. Number 12, love. One of life's incredible wonders is to fall deeply in love with another person. The one you love and the one which you also call best friend must be synonymous and is a prerequisite for relationship longevity. There is no greater joy than to find someone to deeply and intimately share your life with. Number 13, life. Life is a great paradox. The largest number and the smallest number arrive at the same conclusion, infinity. You are deeply and beautifully written into this fabric of existence. What we can derive from paths of logic oftentimes do not make sense to the greater existential understandings of why we're here. I'll remind you again, it's okay to not know. Get comfortable with that mystery and how it continues to beautifully unfold. Number 14, optimism. For the sake of one's personal peace and tranquility, maintain an optimistic view of your life and our ever-changing world. People will tug for your attention with rhetoric of a foreseeable dystopian future. It brings you no value to allow these ideas to penetrate your mind and will cause you to drain precious mental bandwidth. Why bring gloom to your today by worrying about a future tomorrow that has not yet happened? If someday the world should end, I will die happy knowing I did not waste my time on Earth considering how and why. Number 15, Planet. Having said the previous, it is of utmost importance that we take care of this precious, awe-inspiring place we call home. The greatest lie that fuels the destruction of our planet is that you alone cannot make a difference. Yes, you can. 